There's only one more day to go for members of the public and other interested parties to respond to a consultation on whether air passenger duty should be halved. The duty, which is paid as part of airplane tickets, has been levied since 1994, but it will be devolved to Holyrood next year. The government here would like to cut it in half and then eventually scrap it. John McManus reports. Is it the final call for air passenger duty? That portion of a plane ticket which goes directly to the government's coffers. A consultation on the subject ends on Friday. And these high flyers from the aviation industry say cutting the tax would be good for business. For every one million additional passengers that will come on has an additional £200 million benefit to the economy. So that's pretty significant. Every aircraft we place um, will increase the number of um, crew that we employ locally because we employ everyone on local contracts. We don't employ people from, from the rest of Europe. We employ people local. Um, so that will improve employment as well. The Scottish Government agrees, even though it's a significant source of revenue. Air passenger duty generates around £300 million every year for the Scottish Government and critics say that at a time of austerity that money is sorely needed. And they also say that because of climate change the Government should be deterring people from flying, not encouraging them by making it even cheaper. It's a difficult balancing act. So are these travellers in favour? Absolutely, yes. We travel quite a lot so my daughter lives in Canada so that would help a lot. I think we should be doing everything possible to, to try and uh, tackle climate change. I think that's got to be the overriding concern, so yeah, not for me. The government says it's on course to cut climate emissions by 2020, but some environmentalists are dubious. A blanket cut on tax on aviation is going to increase the number of passengers and that is going to increase the number of greenhouse gas emissions from aviation. It's a sector that's already seeing huge growth despite APD and we don't think there's any need to cut it. And there's an environmentally and economically we don't think we can afford it. The SNP are determined to get this measure through Parliament but as a minority government they may find opposition parties manage to keep them grounded. John McManus, Reporting Scotland, Edinburgh Airport.